I'm here for an application? Yeah. Just fill out that form. I don't understand how question three is relevant to me working here. If you were to pick a tenth Supreme Court justice, who would it be? Just fill it out. If it's too hard, you can apply to Taco Bell across the street. High school mox class. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ma. What happened to the Honda Civic Hybrid? Ah, oh, my baby's in the shop. I gotta try that piece of junk. Word. Five star general, OG veteran, cake like Edelman, blowing that celery, stack that cash like the U.S. Treasury. Every single thing. Yo, Ma. Rebel for the hell of it. What's up with this whack classroom? It's way smaller than our last one. You've heard about the budget cuts, Chris. Budget cuts mean flat screen TVs. Hell of it. Hella rich. Never have to sell a b again. Must I tell a b again? So this one time in Mexico. Oh my God, Mexico. Yo, Ma. Do you get a haircut? Yeah, I got all of them cut. All right, can we get on with the lesson here? I've got stuff to learn. Okay, okay. So, today we are learning about Marbury v. Madison. It is a landmark case in United States law and in the history of law worldwide. Looks like you got that straight off of Wikipedia. No! I worked diligently on this lesson plan with Netzel and Moody. Really? I have the article up on my phone. That's 10% off your participation grade. Open market bond trading. These questions would have been impossible without Mox class. Forget, ain't got long hot songs, best cherish it. Cool when I drop mine, that's over. Finito, you're paying for your file like a free throw. Bow, bow. Guys, we're gonna be doing something different today. You mean we're going to Mexico? No, we're not going to Mexico. We're doing a PowerPoint I made completely by myself. The Federal Reserve can buy bonds, which means the money goes to the security traders, and then the traders put the money in the banks. How am I supposed to take notes on this? I can't even read it. I went to a PowerPoint seminar, and studies have shown that black font on black backgrounds helps students remember content. Here, Chris, take out your phone. I'll do an example. What phone? Just play along, Chris. Hello? Hello, Chris. Uh, hold on, that's Mr. Devlin to you. I thought we were on a first name basis. Alright, Brian, then, what's up? Chris, I'm the Federal Reserve. I'm selling bonds. Are you in the market? Alright, sure, I'll buy them. Okay, now this has just taken money out of the economy, which causes banks to have higher interest rates because they have less money to loan out. The inverse of this is also true. Question three. I'll come back to that one later. Feel mm. ain't no catching me. Put it on my pops, big feel and Beverly. Be standing on the top, still after they bury me. Nose in the air, so stuck up, arrogant. Yo, mom, you got a pencil I can borrow? I got nothing for you. What about that one on your ear? What one? <laughs> Maybe there's one in your shirt pocket. Oh, Mark, I ran out of clean shirts. All I have is this towel. Okay, moving on. Today, we're going to learn about presidential powers. This is all you need to know. 
The president is the commander-in-chief. He makes all the treaties which the Senate must confirm. What was the McCain-Feingold Act, and how did it affect soft money? When they greet me, mouth wide open, yeah, begging me to yeah, in a deep sleep, stop dreaming. I'm six albums in for ten years, I've been five hot steaming. The limelight's mine, I'm gleaming, beaming. That's why I say I'm king, check out my reasons. So frosty, so chilly. Dude, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Oh, Mark, I got a shirt this time. Where are your pants? Mark, it's only Tuesday. I only did half my laundry. Does this make sense to you guys? Am I going too fast? I don't know, Mark. Does this even make sense to you? That's a good question. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I can't all be zingers. Mr. Mark, I have a question. Can we talk about the mccain Feingold Act in our movies? What? No, of course not. That has nothing to do with government. Well, the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act of 2002, also known as the mccain Feingold Act, is the most recent major federal law on campaign finance, which revised some of the legal limits on expenditures set in 1974. All right, all right, fine. I guess you can use it in your movie. Does anyone else have any questions? Sorry, Mr. Mock, I'm still not quite sure how to save our work on all 15 places on the computer. For the last time, you take your video, you save it all to the audio folder, and then drag that to the PowerPoint folder. Once you're done with that, restart your computer, uninstall Mac OS X, and then unplug your flash drive, upload a virus to the computer, and everything should be saved to the server with your name on the folder, and everything will play in quick time like a real video, not like PowerPoint. How will it be there? We haven't even started. Just do what I say and everything will be okay. Anyone else have any real questions? Yeah, Mock. I got one. What are you up to this weekend? None of your damn business, Chris! Oh, oh yeah. Question three. I'm done. Underqualified. Wait. You had Mock in high school? I had him back in 75. That's a shoe in. Alright. Welcome to the United States government, kid. I have to wear this? Are you ready for the truth? Give me the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me!